everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today I'm sharing my closing shift routine for my home, kind of how I reset for the evening and put my house to bed for the night. Um, this routine is pretty surface level cleaning, but it's very beneficial to my morning because when I wake up, I can just begin my day and I'm not feeling so behind and overwhelmed before my day even begins. And I have to say that nighttime cleaning is probably my favorite time of day to clean because the house is peaceful. There's usually not many interruptions because the kids getting ready for bed. So it's a very quiet and peaceful time of day to just zone into my cleaning. And I'm so excited to be partnering with Eureka on today's video. I've been an avid Eureka vacuum user now for years and today I've partnered up with them to share the Eureka E10S. This little vacuum has really simplified my nighttime cleaning routine and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So one of the first things that I do is get all the fur babies fed for the night. And I like to feed my dogs twice a day. So I'll feed them once in the morning and again in the evening. Um, sometimes my little dogs, they don't eat as much <laughs> throughout the day. So they only get fed once. So like if I see in the evening that their bowls still have food in them from the morning, then I just let them be. But my big dog, Ellie, most of the time, she will eat her morning and her evening meals. She will go ahead and come in for the night have her dinner. Um, she does like to be outside during the day, although she has been spending some more time inside lately because of the heat. It is getting so hot here in Georgia. She'll come in sometimes during the day, but for the most part, she likes to be outside. Um, but regardless, every evening she does come in. So about now, um, she'll come inside, she'll have her dinner, and she'll settle in for the night. So that's just her routine. I'm gonna go around and start closing up all the blinds, turning on lamps, and set the mood, if you will. <laughs> Get all the cozy vibes going and then I'm gonna go around and pick up the floor really quick um, pick up pillows throw blankets any toys that are laying around so I can get the vacuum running and that way it can do you know a thorough clean of the floor is not having to clean around a bunch of stuff and this entire nighttime cleaning routine takes me maybe 30 minutes to complete a lot of times the kids are helping to pick things up before they go to bed and in that case um, it does go much faster but on solo nights it's about 30 minutes and I'll have it done like to take the trash out every evening if the can is full so that way we start the next day with an empty can and that way I don't have to worry about you know smelly trash first thing in the morning my beeline from my bedroom to the coffee maker in the mornings I literally have to walk right past the can so I like to go ahead and take that out obviously if it's not full I'll leave it um, just so I'm not wasting trash bags but most of the time we end the day with a pretty full can. We're a family of four, so usually it's pretty full. So once I've got the floor picked up, I'll go ahead and run the robot vacuum. I've been using the Eureka E10S vacuum mop combo for a couple of weeks now as part of my nightly cleaning routine. And I just love waking up to spotless floors first thing in the morning. So as stated, I am partnering with Eureka on today's video and I just wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. I have worked with Eureka in the past. I actually have the Eureka cordless vacuum as well as the Eureka wet dry vacuum. Both are amazing and I've used them for years. I've not had any trouble out of my Eureka vacuums. So my nighttime cleanup routine used to take me a little bit longer because our home is 90% hard floor. I have three dogs, three kids. 
um, they get dirty super fast and so I have to vacuum multiple times a day so I have loved having this vacuum as part of my evening routine I don't have to worry about the floor I can just focus on the rest of the routine while the E10S takes care of it for me and returns itself to the station once it's all done I'm able to control everything from the app on my phone. I can set schedules, manage the map, um, the amount of water it puts out if I want it to put out more or less. I can control the suction power, no-go zones, like if I don't want it to go to certain areas of my home. So I love that. I can also set cleaning zones. So if I just want it to go to you know, clean a certain area, I can go in the app, create the zone and the vacuum will clean just that zone. So that's super nice. If we have, you know, a little mess during the day. One of my favorite things about this vacuum is the bagless self emptying station. So when the vacuum returns to the station, it'll empty itself into a bagless canister. Um, not having to buy bags can save you up to $70 a year. And you can also go up to 45 days between emptying the canister. So that's super nice. It's very low maintenance. This vacuum also comes with a HEPA filter, creating a healthier and cleaner environment. And something else I love is the little cord wrap on the back. So you don't have cords hanging out and um, it's just a nice and neat compact station. It's not anything big and bulky. And I do have a few rugs in my home, but the nice thing about this vacuum is that it detects when it's moved onto carpet and the mop will lift. So you don't have to worry about it getting your carpet wet. Um, so yeah, once I hit start, I kind of just let it do its thing. I don't have to babysit it. It just does what it needs to do, heads back to the station. You do have the option to set cleaning schedules if you'd like, so you really don't even have to worry about starting it daily. I just like starting mine so I know that the floor is picked up and ready um, and it can do, you know, a thorough clean. However, one of the core features I love about this vacuum is the ability to detect obstacles and go around them with PSD technology that allows the vacuum to get right up to furniture edges and in the corners, the dual brush heads sweep the debris into the suction pour and nothing is left behind. So if you guys want to grab the Eureka E10S, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Thanks again to Eureka for sponsoring today's video. So I don't normally scrub down my stove top every night, but on this day, I had something boil over earlier and it left a ring on one of the burners. So I just wanted to get that up and get my stove top all shined up again. Um, but in my evening routine, my kitchen is probably my top priority. You'll have to let me know which room in your house is top priority for you. But for me, it's the kitchen. If I get nothing else done in my routine, I can go to bed with a messy living room. I can go to bed with a messy bedroom. Um, but I really want my kitchen to be clean. So I at least like to have that done. Um, but do y'all remember the clean kitchen at night hashtag on Instagram? Is that still a thing? I know it used to be where we would all post a picture of our clean kitchens at night as motivation to others to go to bed with a clean kitchen and we would hashtag it clean kitchen at night. Anybody else remember that? Um, but anyways, I still like to live by that. It's the worst waking up to a dirty kitchen. And I'm not saying by no means that I never go to bed with a dirty kitchen because I definitely do sometimes, but I try not to. It really doesn't take that long to do just a quick reset. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I appreciate my dishwasher with everything in me. Hand washing dishes is a lot to stay on top of. And my dishwasher has saved me so much time.
you've noticed, I've got some wood <laughs> propped up there by the dishwasher. And it's because I'm planning a project very soon. Um, that's wood that I had actually bought for my laundry room. I was going to build like a, a little shoe bench uh, for our shoes, but I ended up just buying one. So I had that wood left over. Um, so I'm kind of thinking I'm probably going to make me some shelves for my dining room and I want to do it very soon. That's why I had it propped up there. So that's what that's for. But I've got that wall in between the glass sliding door and the cabinets and I'm kind of thinking some open shelves would look really nice there. I've been seeing lots of cute ideas on Pinterest. I just haven't completely decided <laughs> what I'm going to do yet. But the good news is I have finally decided on a wallpaper for the dining room so hopefully I'll be getting that ordered soon and we can get started in there in my morning cleaning routine i will unload our dishwasher from the night before and then i will reload throughout the day any dirty dishes that we accumulate so that by the time the evening comes i just have to load whatever's left in the sink and then hit start so that's what i'm doing now i'm just finishing up getting those loaded and we'll go ahead and get that running y'all can't tell my caraway pots are very much loved i've had them for several years now and they're some of the best pots and they are definitely an investment um so i love those but i've got to get some more pots and pans because i only have these three and sometimes like if i'm cooking larger meals i'm limited because i only have the three so with that being said i've got to get some more so if you guys have any brands in mind let me know in the comment section below I really just want a little extra set to go alongside my caraway pots um, just so I have more to work with when I am cooking the larger meals. So leave all your suggestions down below. and wiping down my appliances and I don't do this every night it's an as-needed thing that I do and I noticed they were looking a little rough <laughs> so I'm gonna get those wiped down tonight and then I just like to go around and make sure the clutter is off the counters the island and everything is wiped down and that will be it for the kitchen
moving into the office slash classroom. This is an area that's also an as needed thing. My desk has been so messy lately. It's because I've had a lot going on with work and also my personal life um, that it's just gotten out of control. There's papers everywhere and I cannot take it another day. So I'm going to get that cleaned off and reset. And I'm also going to take a second to straighten up our bookshelf that's in here. This is probably my four-year-old's favorite place in the house. She loves to come in here and pull out books and draw and color and I love that. Um, this is a very well-loved area in our home which is exactly what I hoped it would be but I am getting ready to do like a homeschool reset video soon where I will declutter and organize um, restock supplies. We are going to be homeschooling year round this year. We're not taking a summer break other than our vacation week, but I still want to do a good reset at the end of summer. So that way I can restock our supplies when the stores start their back to school sales. And I'll probably do that about the end of July, 1st of August. Our schools around here usually go back around the first week in August. So the back to school sales usually start in July. And honestly, I should probably do that at the beginning of July, just so when I go get supplies, everything's not picked over and gone. So yeah, that'll be coming soon. Y'all, laundry is never ending. I'm folding whatever time of day I can get it folded. But I think nighttime is my favorite time to sit down and fold because to me, I can actually sit and enjoy the process. Even though folding laundry is not enjoyable to me, I can sit down and turn on a TV show. It's quiet in the house and I can just have a little bit of me time.
y'all let me know in the comments below what you keep your thermostat on at night for me i like to leave mine on 70. i like it nice and cold in the house when i'm sleeping so i'll go ahead and turn that down to 70. i'm gonna head into the bathroom and um, just pick up in here i try to clean up the vanity um, just make sure that i've got things put away and i'm gonna go ahead and run myself a bath I love taking my bubble baths in the evening it's just you know it helps me to wind down and relax for the night just before i crawl into bed and i love to turn off the main lights in the bathroom i'll turn on my lamp and my little candles and yeah i just i love it it's very relaxing i'll put a little bit of epsom salt in the bath just to help me relax and yeah that is all for my closing shift routine i hope you guys enjoyed if you don't have a nighttime cleaning routine highly recommend um, it really doesn't take long to do maybe even set a timer and just see what you can get done in that time um, maybe like a 15 minute timer just clean for the entire 15 minutes and you might be surprised at how much you can actually accomplish and it's so rewarding um, waking up the next day and just having all of that done so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video remember to leave a butterfly emoji down in the comments and if you guys want to check out the eureka e10s i'll have that link down below as well and again thanks to eureka for partnering with me on today's video i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next one